except I'm not going to Belgium right now. Hey everyone, this is Jennifer Beamer, owner and operator of Actually Died Art by Science, and today I have to announce some sad news that I was denied going to Belgium for the European Textile Forum. Without getting into too many details, Essentially, I had all the paperwork that I thought I needed. I got to the airport and there was one form that I needed, but because of the pandemic, some wording on their website at the Belgian embassy changed. And so it put me in a precarious situation where I could not have gotten the paperwork that I needed in order to go in time. So I went to Heathrow and had to come back um, after a few hours spent trying to figure out if there was a way I could go. So um, the European Textile Forum obviously went on without me and I did give a brief presentation and answered some questions uh, for the people who attended the forum, but it's not quite the same. For those of you who know already, um, and for those who don't yet know but will know shortly, this was a crowdfunded project. So back in August of this year, I submitted my PhD thesis, and then in, I think, early July, or sorry, early June, I got confirmation that I was going to be accepted for the European Textile Forum. However, being in this little intermediary period, having submitted but not quite confirmed as having completed the PhD, I didn't know um, that interim period wasn't classified as being a student from the university's perspective. So I didn't have any access to funding to go, and it's an incredible opportunity that I did not want to miss. So I crowdfunded support and ended up getting the whole trip and conference fee covered by wonderful people like you. And so this is more devastating because it's not just my money. It was the money that all of you contributed towards this experience that I was going to make a community experiment and involve you guys through the entire process. Since I like to have transparency as often as possible, one of the things that I wanted to do was get permission from all of you to instead purchase a warp widow loom that I can use for future videos and then in hopefully a year's time, when the pandemic has quieted down a little bit, hopefully, <laughs> I'll be able to attend the European Textile Forum next year because, as you know, wool doesn't really go bad as long as you take good care, care of it. And um, because I had everything all set and ready to be packed, it's just going to sit in that packed state until I'm ready to use it. So, whereas I really wanted to have a full video series about the European Textile Forum, including interviews with some of the scholars that were going to be there, and video of us actually doing the weaving together, we're going to have to wait to do all that for another year. Uh, but in the meantime, I thought it would still be good to film myself doing more of the process than I did in the Iron Age Textile series, which was more just discussing the experimental process, whereas um, I will be able to show you in a more realistic way how do you set up this type of experiment. Also, for those of you out there who want to continue supporting me and my projects, you can of course stop by expertlydyed.com and the link will be up above for you. Or you can just make a donation where you can click on the donation button on my website, or you can PayPal me, which I will link below. Or you can just continue watching these videos, like, subscribe, comment, and share it around the internet.
watching. Bye.